Hi everybody, in this tutorial I want to show you the basics of Logic's new drum replacement feature. Drum replacement is an audio feature that will help you to change drum sounds from an audio track. Logic analyzes the audio file, creates MIDI data and loads an EXS instrument with the sound you want to replace. Let's see how it works. I prepared the snare audio track. I don't like the sound of the snare drum and I want to replace or double it. Choose track, drum replacement doubling. What happens? The selected audio track has been analyzed for transients and the detected transients are displayed as yellow lines. The software instrument track is created below the selected audio track and the EXS24 is inserted into the instrument slot. The library tab is opened in the media area with the focus set to the EXS24, allowing you to choose the sound that best matches the project. A MIDI region that contains trigger notes based on the detected transients is created in the software instrument track. And the parameter dialog opens. Let's take a look on the dialog. The instrument pop-up menu asks you for the sound type you want to process. See how the content of the media library changes with the sound type. If I choose kick, Logic offers me single drum sounds in the media library tab. If I choose snare, the media library content changes and offers single snare drum sounds. If I choose tom, I can select different tom sounds. And if I choose other, Nothing changes because in the factory library that you install with Logic 9, you can only find single drum sounds for kicks, snares and toms. We want to replace or double a snare drum, so let's choose that. If you choose the replace mode, the original audio track will be muted after pressing the OK button. If you choose the double mode, the audio track will not be muted and you will double the sound. The relative threshold slider defines a threshold for the generated transients. MIDI notes are generated for transients above the designated value. When I raise the value, you see that only the transients of the loudest snare heads will be detected. The number of the yellow lines get smaller, like the trigger notes in the MIDI region. When I lower the value, Logic detects more transients and automatically creates more trigger notes in the MIDI region. Let's hit pre-listen. We hear now the original audio track and the EXS instrument track with the selected sound from the media library. Let's mute the original audio track and select different snare sounds for the EXS instrument track. You see and hear how fast you can change the sound. With the trigger note dialog you can change the pitch of the trigger notes in the MIDI region. If it's set to auto, Logic sets the snare drum automatically to D1 and the kick to C1. Because the mapping of the single drum sounds for drum replacing or doubling follow the general MIDI drum map. And you see kick 1 is pitched to C1 and the names of the single drum sounds display it too. Let's hit OK you see that you are still able to change the sound. So that's drum replacement in Logic 9. This audio feature shows us how fast we can change drum sounds. And even if you build your beats with MIDI data, the single drum sounds of the factory EXS library are very useful because all of them are pitched to the GM drum mapping. As long as you place the MIDI event on C1, for example, you have a very fast access to single kick drum sounds. So get in touch with it and watch the next video.